Hi everybody, my name is Michelle. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. The cookbook that we're gonna look at today is a family circle cookbook and it's literally called Hamburger Cookbook. The dimensions are eight by 10 and it's a half an inch thick. It was published for the last time in 1978 from Rockville House Publishers Garden City, New York. It has 96 pages in total and the recipe that we're going to look at today is Hawaiian meatballs on page 70. This cookbook is 46 years old and I will say it had a lot of recipes in here that I have no clue what they are. They sound super interesting. It has hamburger recipes, it has ham recipes, and it has lamb recipes. So there's a really good variety of things in here and I chose the meatball one because I had all the ingredients on hand and it sounded like something that I would definitely want to have for supper. So I'm excited about this recipe because I, I think it's going to be good. I mean, how can you go wrong with Hawaiian meatballs? So without further ado, let's get at the recipe yeah. today. This is a totally new recipe for both of us. So let's see how it goes. In this bowl, I have one pound of nicely thawed ground beef. Now the first thing I do when I put a pair of rubber gloves on is I wash them just like I would my bare hand. I am supposed to try and get 16 meatballs out of this. So <clears throat> I'm just not sure how I'm going to do this evenly. I'm going to try this scoop and hopefully it'll come out to 16, maybe 17. If not, it's going to be okay. So in this little measuring cup, I have half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of ginger. So in they go. Now I'm just going to mix this up with my hands. For the next step, I've got to wash my gloves again. So. Remove that back a little bit. I gotta have a plate. Gotta have a plate. So, we're gonna see how this goes. There's one. See how much? Four, eight, twelve, fourteen. Close enough, right? So in here, in this bowl, is one egg. Now the recipe calls for one egg and a teaspoon of water. Just gonna give that a little bit more of a mix. In here, I have one quarter cup of flour. So I'm gonna take the meatball, pack it a little bit more. I have to kind of egg wash it. That's gonna be a nasty process before it's done. And then roll it in the flour. All right. That's that phase. Okay, we've moved over to the stove here. I have three tablespoons of oil in my skillet here. As you can see, I've got it a bit hot. I'm gonna try to get these all in there and get them browned. That's the first order of business. So I have over here another plate, and as they finish browning, I'm going to take them out of this skillet. From my can of pineapple juice, I got this much pineapple juice, or pineapple chunks, I got this much juice, and I it was almost a cup, I added about a tablespoon. So now I'm going to put this right in there. I have here one quarter cup 
of brown sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch. It says to mix the cornstarch, mix the cornstarch with my brown sugar and then put it in there. Cornstarch will make stuff thicken, right? Is a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar and one tablespoon of soy sauce. We put these back in. Add in our pineapple and there's obviously been a little more juice settle out of that since I cut them that's perfectly fine and then green pepper it said two green peppers but for all I have left here. This is one green pepper. We kind of have to make sure everything's coated, cover, and simmer for 10 minutes. There's my cover. Turn the heat down. Set my timer. 10 minutes. And then I'll be back. The timer just went off. So, let's check her out. I have... Started a couple of times. 142. That one's 162. That might be the small one. 163, 60. This is going up real well. Let's try a little taste of the sauce here. You know, that sauce is wonderful. It's not um, super, super sweet because there was only a quarter cup of brown sugar. Of course, the pineapple juice. And the pineapple will lend natural sugars, but it's not just make your teeth hurt sweet, which is lovely. Okay, so this is the finished result here. I made some rice. minute rice. <laughs> rice. Just plain white rice. I made some of that and we're eating it over a bed of rice. So Michelle is here and she's gonna tell you what she thinks. It's spectacular. It's absolutely delicious, and I would a million percent make this again. It's so good. The pineapple, you can't go wrong. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And it's not, as I said, doesn't make your teeth hurt. It's so it's sweet. It's so good. It's just delicious. So that's it from me. You'll hear more from Michelle later. Okay, everybody, let's talk about this cookbook, and let's talk about this recipe. First of all, this cookbook is a new cookbook to me. I really love it. I'm definitely going to get a lot of gear out of it and there's definitely a lot more recipes that I want to go through and that I want to make for the channel. This recipe, 100% make it again. Delicious. I don't think you can go wrong with pineapple. The only thing I would suggest is cooking the green pepper a little bit longer if you don't like them super crunchy, which Kevin did, but it wasn't long enough for me. The recipe said to put it over a bed of noodles and we decided to make rice. I think that was a good choice for us. But you do you and you do whatever you would like to have with it if you choose to make this recipe. I want to thank you for watching today and I hope that if you're not subscribed you would consider doing so. Click the like button and the notification bell so that you know when we put another video up. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.